It's the end of the preseason, end of season six, depending on what game you're playing. And today we got our final update before season one. So what changed in both games of either Vanguard or Warzone? Today we're gonna break down all of that and also let you know about some things that you should absolutely be trying to do before the end of the preseason, end of the season, whatever the case, we're talking about that all in this video. As we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to season one? What in particular are you guys looking forward to? Maybe the new weaponry and maps within Vanguard. You're looking forward to the new map within Warzone of Call Dara, whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. Let's aim for 2,000 on this. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Warzone, all things Vanguard. Season one's right around the corner, so we'll keep you up to date with absolutely everything you need to know. If you guys are a part of that, nearly 70% of viewers that are not subscribed and you'd like to help us out on that road to half a million subscribers, I'd love to have you in the community. That said, let's jump right into it. So the final update of the preseason, season six, whatever game you're playing on starts this week. So let's start out with the preseason season changes here that that being the vanguard update that happened as of this week honestly for this week's playlist update and overall changes for the week it's tremendously minimal we saw that on monday we had ship house 24 7 staying around big map blitz introduced bloodshed which is tdm and assault pacing carnage which is hardcore variations of modes in some certain maps and champion hill duos and trios introduced but yesterday we actually got the sort of amendment to that as our weekly update here it was actually a pretty awesome addition here and a great help for those grinding out weapons ahead of the warzone integration if you care about that kind of stuff that being finally the dedicated playlist rotation of hardcore shipment and dos house in the ship house 24 7 hardcore mode you can finally jump in and take a look at this in the quick play filter it's a dedicated playlist along with all your other hardcore team deathmatch domination kill confirmed search patrol free for all and hard point so our first sort of ltm if you will here listed in the hardcore variation and hopefully something that we can see continue on into the future as well but this i played it all last night made some great progress on some pistols and i'll be continuing to do so until they decide to remove it so you'll have plenty of action but admittedly do expect your kd and other stats to tank if you care about those it's gonna be a rough time in some matches for sure me, I was dying with the bear top break magnum last night, ranking that up, which didn't have a ton of fun on that, but got her done, which is all that matters. When it comes to substantial changes and other key updates for Vanguard, again, being so close to season one's launch now at this point, I'm almost not expecting anything until a title update rolls out, introducing us to season one content. Whether we can preload that or not is again, still yet to be seen. So unfortunately we may have this next week or so of minimal updates or changes or fixes, whatever you may be hoping for, which is I've said before, kind of odd, given that every single Call of Duty launch usually has a handful of title updates, including a ton of bug fixes, a ton of weapons, and balancing and all throughout the first month we kind of haven't really seen any of that which is definitely strange for sure but other than that in vanguard we did see that warzone had some changes on deck as well but again being that we are so close to season one it's a bit smaller here though we will see things ramp up within the next seven days but until then we saw our final weekly update for verdansk in warzone and that kind of seems weird and a bit bittersweet to say that this is our last weekly address in terms of verdansk for the immediate future and pending that modern warfare does or does not bring back verdansk in some capacity perhaps the final weekly update maybe ever but anyways today we saw introduced was battle royale solos duos trios and quads as per norm we have iron trials duos as well in the mix operation flashback is still on deck for those that need to complete a win and get that reward for it blood money trios and rebirth resurgence quads also stay around this week removed to make some room for those includes plunder trios and the payload subsection of port and promenade now it's also important to note though that this is the last weekly update it's not the last update for warzone and verdansk before this just yet because on monday that's when we'll see the playlist change again as we kick off the start of the last hours of verdansk event at 10 a.m pacific time so that's something you absolutely do not want to miss if you have the opportunity to stick around and play around with that but that's something that for the next couple of days you'll see this in relation to say iron trials duos and regular battle royale operation flashback again will be live until that last hour of Verdansk update goes live, but the last weekly update in a sense for Verdansk. So certainly interesting, though on top of all of that, we will still continue to see more teasers inbound. Last night, we saw our first real teaser in regards to sort of points of interest for Warzone and Caldera, the brand new map coming along with it. Last night, Raven tweeted a closer look at Lagoon, a point of interest here in the coming map, and I'd imagine over the course of the next week as we gear up for Caldera's launch with Season 1, we see even more of this. So maybe perhaps even right after this video goes live, the way the timing works out, there may be another teaser up at that point, showing another point of interest. But it showed 
photograph the locale, the world of Caldera a little bit more. And so far, based off of what we just see from Lagoon, I'm liking what I see so far. Personally, it feels a little bit more open in nature and kind of reminds me of Blackout in a sense where it's not so much you can camp up in a 20 story building or something like that. Instead, you got to just basically use your environment and your gun skill to your advantage, utilizing only really those two pieces, given that it is so open from what we've seen out of Lagoon. So definitely nice to see you're not just posted up with a million different windows that it's impossible to find a player. Curious to see how this will then translate into the overall gameplay. But before we wrap everything up, I do want to talk to you guys about a few things that you should absolutely make sure that you're completing and accomplishing before the end of either preseason in Vanguard or season six in Warzone, depending on what game you're playing. But before we jump over into that, I want to take a second and let you guys know about my friends over at Gamer Advantage, who are running currently a 10% off site-wide discount on their entire inventory for the holidays and using code Espresso can net you another 10% on top of that. So 20%, the only time this was really beaten was that of just the last week here when we had the Black Friday through Cyber Monday deals going on. But right now, still an incredible time to pick something up. If you guys are like me, you're either working at your desk, on your computer, gaming, or just glued to your phone, and all that screen time and the light it emits can start to take a toll on your eyes and play around with things like your sleeping quality and patterns, and you might not even realize it. That's where Gamer Advantage comes into play because their blue light glasses are the best on the market, and I will swear by that. I have used plenty of blue light glasses over the years where I think, okay, this 15 pair off Amazon is just fine. But when you're talking about your vision health, your overall long-term interest in that vision, $15 and just okay isn't something you should just strive for. Gamer Advantage is head and shoulders above any other brand on the market that claims to offer similar results. They're the most comfortable, lightweight, and durable frames on the market, and can even be cut specifically for for you if you have a prescription and your insurance can help cover that cost. Now there's zero visual distortion like other blue light glasses have where they just throw in a yellow lens. What you see before you put on the glasses is exactly what you see with them on. So having used their stuff for almost an entire year now at this point, every single day, not once have I had any second guesses. So if you guys would like to invest in your eye health a little bit, you'd like to learn more, link in the description below. And if you ever decide to pick something up, consider using code ESPRESSO to get you that bonus discount here on top of the already 10% offered across the site. But anyways, things that you should be doing before the end of preseason one, end of season six here, depending on the game. Number one, starting with the Vanguard side of things, make sure you completely your enlisted ranks of one to 55 so that you can jump into the returning seasonal prestige system right out of the gate. If you've already done that, make sure that you at least reach prestige two or level 50 here by comparison to the overall seasonal levels. That will then grant you the debt collector STG blueprint, something that will not be offered at all during the rest of the year. So if you guys want an exclusive blueprint here, this is that sort of air quote seasonal reward you'll get every single year so make sure you take advantage of that and if you've already done that make sure that you've reached at least prestige 3 level 100 to 101 which is capped though you can't actually see your overall rank in the after action report if you ever take a look at that or what will pop up in game when you rank up but doing so will ensure that you start at the highest prestige possible like last year we'll see that we're going to start at prestige 3 or 4 likely and go from there with resets every single season bring you back down to that last sort of saved checkpoint anything after after Prestige Master going up to level 1000 will just be bonus and then it will reset you down to the next Prestige that next season. After that, complete as many weapons as possible if you care at all about the full experience of every single weapon with Vanguard Weaponry and Warzone. I know that I'm doing a last second mad dash to try and complete all of my weapons so I have all of them on offer on day one here, but we'll see how that all works out. And then of course, finally, also complete your Secrets of the Pacific event if you have not done so already. There are six challenges spread across Warzone and Vanguard. I think Vanguard is a little bit easier, admittedly, though it might be something you can still do war zones in two to three games, perhaps. But by completing all six of those challenges and either war zone or Vanguard, unfortunately, there's no sort of three and three where you can do both. It has to be a full six in either of those. But if you complete those, you get the STG Bomber Mountain Blueprint, which is available in Vanguard right now, but not until season one for war zone with the integration that will happen in the future. So make sure you're completing all that stuff so you don't miss out on anything here in regards to the final bit of content for the pre season and season six within Vanguard and Warzone ahead of season one's launch. But for right now, that is the last update here in regards to what we see leading before season one. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys liking these changes you've seen so far? Are you looking forward to season one? Were you hoping for perhaps a little bit more in terms of a final hurrah for the preseason of Vanguard? Whatever the case may be, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Warzone, Vanguard, season one. We got you covered here on the channel. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But that said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.